Uh, but can you understand the case of Abu Qatada, which, and for those who aren't familiar with it, uh, a, a person with alleged uh, terrorist to Al Qaeda, who uh, it took uh, many, many years before he was able to go back uh, to Jordan. It cost something like 1.7 million pounds to go through the legal procedures. Can you understand how the public and politicians uh, find this extremely uh, frustrating? I can understand the frustration, but I can't understand the frustration being uh, uh, loaded onto the Strasbourg court. The Strasbourg court was not the body that was essentially responsible for the time that was taken. Can I say a little bit more about the Abu Qatada case? What the Strasbourg court has said, said back in uh, the end of the 1980s was, firstly, that it was wrong in principle to return somebody to a country uh, where they faced a real risk of torture or inhuman treatment. Secondly, it said that it was, it was wrong also to send somebody back to a country where they faced a flagrant uh, denial of justice within the country concerned. Now, so far as the first limb was concerned, that of whether Abu Qatada himself uh, would be tortured, the European Court looked at the question, looked at it, looked, examined the question in thoroughly, and decided that the memorandum of understanding that had been reached between uh, the United Kingdom on one side and the Jordanian authorities on the other protected Abu Qatada himself from being uh, subjected to torture. On the other hand, the memorandum of understanding as it was then reached did not address the question of fair trial. And there was, as the court found, and indeed as the Court of Appeal in this country found, a real risk that if Abu Qatada were sent back to, uh, to uh, Jordan, he would face a very long term of imprisonment based on a conviction which was obtained as a result of evidence obtained by torture. That was what the, uh, our court found, that is what the Strasbourg court found, and it was also, it, the, the Court of Appeal in this country took a similar view, describing it as abhorrent, the idea that somebody could, be, could face either the death penalty or long-term imprisonment based on evidence which had been extracted by torture. This is a very, very emotive issue uh, for uh, the public. And by certain rulings that you made, uh, you have been severely uh, criticized. You must feel that criticism is, is unfair. I do feel it's unfair. It's, it's, it's criticism which is uh, particularly strong in, in this country, which, as I've said, has uh, less reason to complain about the court, uh, about the Strasbourg court, than, than any other country in the sense that it's still a very, very small proportion of the total number of cases brought against the United Kingdom that end up in a finding of a violation. And it is these two cases of Hearst concern, concerning the prisoners' rights to vote and Abu Qatada that are really the source of this hostility, the general hostility to the, to the court that, uh, that one finds here.